everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm finally filming a, I was gonna say a sit down video, but I'm not actually sitting down, I'm standing up. <laughs> I promised that I will show you some new items and products that I've bought lately and I actually decided to feel my favourites and show you all the items that I've been obsessed with. I have some new products that I can't wait to show you and tell you how good they are. So if you're interested, I have some Chanel, I have Zara, I have some more fashion items and more products like beauty products and makeup products. So if you're interested, keep watching. I have many products to show you so I'll try to be fast and uh, the first item is this skirt that you've probably seen in my previous video, I wore this in my previous vlog, if you've missed it it's a shopping vlog, I'll link it up here and I'll also link it down in the description box for you to check out. I went shopping in Harrods and I wore this gorgeous skirt from Zara, I really wanted to show you it, I think it is still available, it's new season. Also Topshop has a very similar one, if not the same, and it also comes in a midi uh, version, so longer if that's too short for you. I love this skirt, I love all the colours, I love the different patterns, I've been wearing it so much lately and I always get so many compliments, people always stop me and ask me where's my skirt from. And for reference, I got mine in size medium. I think these skirts will be quite trendy and uh, I've seen these kind of... Um, schoolgirl <laughs> um, tartan skirts on the runway as well um, so definitely check this one out. Next is another skirt that I found in River Island and I can't believe I didn't have a denim skirt. I've been actually wearing skirts a lot lately. I found this gorgeous mini denim skirt from River Island. It is quite short and mini but I love it. I um, wear it with tight bodysuits or oversized jumpers and with thick black tights or over the knee boots as well. I got mine in size 10, it's very true to size and I really like that it has some rips and it is also distressed hair at the bottom as well and I also love the fact that you can put a belt and I love wearing mine with my Gucci belt. While I was shopping at the River Island, I also found these jeans. I love grey jeans and I needed a new pair of mid-rise jeans. These are mid-rise. I'm getting a bit bored of high-waisted jeans, so I've noticed that I've been wearing more mid-rise jeans lately. So yeah, I found these. They're also uh, skinny as well and uh, uh, they don't have a lot of stretch to them but uh, I don't really like jeans that stretch too much because they, they don't hold you in the right places and these do hold you in the right places I just love the fit of them and at the same time they're very very comfortable and um, yeah highly highly recommend them so make sure you check them out all right next I picked up something from Marks and Spencers it'll be a bit hard to see it like this so I'll definitely try it on I fell in love with the color of this cardigan it's this gorgeous grayish blue color that I absolutely love. It also has pockets, it's quite chunky and it's really really warm. I got mine in size medium. It is amazing. I wish I could wear it more now but it's really cold. Um, I've been wearing this cardigan a lot with the grey jeans I showed you and uh, with the two skirts as well and I think it looks really cute with those two skirts as well. If you're not a fan of this color uh, or if you think that blue doesn't suit you but you love the fit of it, they also do this one in I think cream and a really nice pink color as well so I think I might actually pick up the pink one as well because it was a really cute color. I'm sure many of you won't be surprised to see my next favorite. It's a pair of boots and can you guys guess which pair of boots? My new Louis Vuittons, of course. So these were sold out completely in the UK and I found them in Prague. I actually have a travel vlog, I did some shopping. It is a really fun vlog, so make sure you check it out if you haven't watched it yet. I showed you and I unboxed these there as well. I showed you these in my previous video. I'll put these down because they're actually quite heavy. <laughs> Alright, in my previous video I actually mentioned that these are really hard to put on. You actually saw how much I struggled putting these on and oh my god, I got so many comments guys. I wanted to quickly mention something. I'm not stupid, alright? I do loosen up the laces. Many of you were like, oh girl, just loosen up the laces. You don't loosen up the laces. Why didn't you loosen up the laces? I do loosen up the laces, alright? <laughs> it's not that I don't loosen up the laces, it was the 
way that they were laced up. Once you change up the lacing method, they're actually not that hard to put on, I just changed up the lacing method and um, they were laced in a really weird way so it was quite difficult to um, loosen up the laces and many of you also mentioned that they um, also have these boots and they are quite difficult to put on that's because of the canvas they're quite stiff and canvas doesn't stretch um, that's why but yeah I wanted to quickly mention that <laughs> now it's a bit easier to put them on so don't worry I figured it out <laughs> Okay, next I wanted to show you some beauty products. I bought um, some new Chanel products and I'll show you my favourites. I'm actually holding the first one and this is one of their new brushes. Yes, they have new brushes and oh my god, I love this brush so much. This is probably my favourite thing that I bought from Chanel because I did buy quite a few products and this is hands down the best brush this is the softest brush i've ever tried and i highly recommend it it is a powder brush i absolutely love the new design it's very sleek very beautiful and i also love the fact that it's a uh, like slightly tapered brush so it's great for contouring it's also great for powdering and you can also set your under eyes because it's like quite tapered here so yeah it is great. They definitely changed uh, their brushes. They're much softer now. I think they have a few other ones that are new. Also, if you buy this brush, uh, keep this little sleeve because it's actually quite convenient, especially when you want to put your uh, brush inside your bag so you don't make a mess in your bag. Do you guys know these filters on Instagram and Snapchat that make your skin look flawless? How many of you wish that your skin could look like this all the time without that filter? I have a solution for you. I have two products that are amazing and make your skin flawless and it looks photoshopped and amazing. So the first one is the Duo 24 Hour uh, Forever Foundation. That's the newest foundation that I've been raving about on my Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram already, make sure you do because I have new highlights where you can find my newest obsessions in fashion and beauty products. I share all my favorite products with you there as well. I have mentioned on my Instagram stories that I've been obsessed with this new Dior foundation. Your face really looks photoshopped. I uh, actually use two different colors. When I'm more pale, I use the 021 and when I'm more tanned and when I fake tan, I actually use the 025 and the foundation is amazing. It's very matte, um, but your skin still looks um, very natural and beautiful and I just can't explain it. You have to try this foundation. I've noticed that it could get a bit oily throughout the day around my nose, but I have a solution for that now as well because I found another amazing product, which is it is this powder foundation by Chanel. I exchanged it and got the refill only because I realized I already had the packaging so I didn't need the entire compact. I just needed the refill. I love when makeup brands offer you to buy just the refill. Um, I think Dior does this and also Chanel has a few other products where um, you can buy just a refill and I absolutely love this compact first it is very very beautiful and it has a huge mirror and I only bought the refill actually this powder foundation comes with a little sponge inside I have this brush from the previous foundation I do prefer the brush so if you do prefer br brushes to sponges you can always throw away the little sponge and just put a nice little brush inside so you can powder throughout the day but I do set my under eyes and I my full face and also throughout the day when I get oily I powder my face. It is not a translucent powder, it does have a bit of a colour uh, but it makes your skin look flawless and like Photoshop, trust me, you have to try this. Another foundation that I've been loving lately is the one from Sephora. I told you guys that I will let you know how I feel about the foundation. I bought it when I was in Prague and I did mention that in my Prague travel vlog. It is cheaper than the Dior one, but it's amazing foundation as well. So if you haven't tried it, definitely give it a go. I wanted to show you one more Chanel product and I picked up this 
highlighter. Yes, Chanel has highlighters now. Finally, it was about time. Um, they didn't have highlighters in their permanent line. They finally released three new highlighters, which are amazing. They're so blinding. They remind me so much of the limited edition Camellia highlighter that I love so much in direct packaging. If you have that one, these are very similar formula. They have some glitter like flecks and they're just Oh my god, so blinding. And I picked up this one, uh, which is in the color Ivory Gold. I love it. However, when I'm a bit more tanned, this one is a bit pale for me. And I usually mix it with a more golden-y one. Um, so it doesn't look that pale. So this color might be a bit light for medium skin tones. It really depends what highlighters you like. I personally prefer more golden-y ones. This one does look... a quite golden in the packaging but when I apply it on the cheeks it doesn't look as um, golden -y as I would like so I usually mix it when I'm more tanned but when I'm not that tanned um, it is stunning it is absolutely amazing it's the perfect color they have three different colors actually for medium to dark they have the perfect bronzy golden -y shade I think the other one was a peachy one so yeah definitely try these out they are great <laughs> Another huge favorite are uh, the lashes that I'm currently wearing. These are the Huda Beauty lashes in Noel. I love them. I wear them every single day. I know they're quite dramatic for every day, but I love them. These are awesome. I will show you them up close actually. How gorgeous are these? <laughs> My next favorite is this YSL black um, pencil, eye pencil, and I think I've also shown you this in one of my previous videos, I can't remember which one, but I've noticed that I've been using this black eyeliner a lot lately, black pencil liner, in my waterline. This is the best, the blackest um, eye pencil um, that I've ever used. Highly, highly recommended. I have two more of these actually. They're so creamy, so pigmented extremely black and they stay on all day long if you love wearing black eyeliner in your waterline definitely try this one it is bomb <laughs> my next favorite is this perfume by Victor and Rolf I picked up this from the airport when I was traveling to Prague and I've been using it every single day it is so fresh um, so nice and flowery and um, it has this sweet notes as well. This one is a limited edition packaging so it has a flower. This perfume is so long lasting and it smells so amazing. I always get compliments when I wear this perfume. Um, so if you haven't smelled it definitely go and um, smell it and I'm sure you like it. And if you already have it you know how amazing this is. So yeah I'll definitely repurchase this when I finish it. It is my new favorite perfume. Next is this hand cream. Okay, I hate hand creams, but I really want to try this banana hand cream and I don't really like any body lotions or applying hand cream on my hands. I just don't like the, I don't know, it's something about the texture, I just don't like it, but, but when I smelled this, oh my god, it smells amazing. It smells so nice, I want to eat it. This one is from Sephora. So you can order it online and I don't, because I don't like any like creams and body lotions, I apply it on my hands, like on top of my hands and just do this, like this. I don't really apply it <laughs> here, I just apply it on the top and it smells so nice and it makes your hands very, very soft and nice. I'm so obsessed, I literally want to eat this and look at the packaging, how fun and cute is this packaging. <laughs> Right, I have two more products to show you and um, I wanted to show you these Tango teasers. One of them is from Skinny Dip and the other one is the original Tango teaser. And one of them was a hit, the other one is a miss. So can you guys guess which one? All right, so I'll tell you, this one was unfortunately a miss. I still love, I wanted to show you it because I really love the packaging. It's like a shell and I think it comes in a different color with like glitter, but I picked up this one. It is so cute, but unfortunately it's not that great as a hairbrush. It doesn't really work well for me, maybe because my hair is very, very long. Um, but I want to show you it because it's really, really cute and some of you might like it. This one, however, is amazing and I've been using the Small Tangle Teasers for so long now 
and um, sometimes it's really hard to brush my hair because it's like my hair is getting really long. I bought this uh, huge tango teaser and this is the best buy ever. It is so good guys. It is so much easier now to brush my hair. So if you have a long hair, I highly, highly recommend this massive tango teaser. Yeah, I quickly wanted to mention the new L'Oreal uh, mask. I actually bought the full range, the shampoo, the conditioner, the mask. I've been using this new range for about two weeks now and my hair feels and looks amazing, I think. My hair is quite long now and the ends are a bit dry, so I use the mask and the conditioner together and <laughs> they make my hair very, very soft and very easy to brush. So I do like this range. It is very affordable. I also wanted to mention the scent. Oh my God, it is magical. These smell, oh my God, these smell so nice. And actually my hair smells really nice for like two days after I've washed it. I'm pretty sure that I've mentioned in my previous videos that I use um, the Vichy shampoos and the Kerastase ones are really good as well. Um, but so I really wanted to try this. Um, I guess the color and the packaging attracted me and the scent and it also says it, it will repair your hair and um, it's for long damaged hair and it also helps your hair grow. It has castor oil, keratin, vitamins, um, and um, yeah, apparently really good ingredients that make your hair look fabulous. Um, so I wanted to give it a go and see how I like it, um, but it's really, really good, so I'll continue using this um, range, and I'm really happy, so I wanted to mention these new L'Oreal products, and uh, yeah. Alright guys, that's all. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I felt a bit out of practice. I tried filming this video like five times and this is definitely the last time. So hopefully it was a good video. <laughs> I really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Let me know if you have discovered any new amazing products in the comment section down below. Also, come follow me on my other social media platforms, which you can see on the screen and also down below. Everything that I've talked about in this video, everything that I'm wearing will be linked down below. So don't forget to check the description box and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.